Hi right, everyone, welcome back to U77. Here we are, patrolling the mouth uh, of the Mediterranean uh, in our beautiful little U-boat here. Um, nothing, still nothing. We've been going hours and hours and days and days in game and still no enemy merchant vessels. Only that one aircraft which we shot down last time, that Beaufort torpedo bomber. Um, so we're here in this area of... Uh, the Gibraltar supply route. Um, so they'll be coming in and out of Gibraltar and they head up here, then they split off. Um, I was actually going to go sort of hug in towards uh, Casablanca because there's also um, shipping routes that come into Casablanca, then into the Gibraltar gap as well. But um, yeah, going to patrol around this area for a bit. Hopefully, we can find something a little bit juicy. Nothing yet, but I'll bring you back as soon as we do. Hi everyone, welcome back. The uh, the sea is turning more and more into that deep blue or light blue Mediterranean clear water. Uh, you can see the turquoise coming up in the um, in the wake. Uh, we have a ship. Uh, it's a friendly, so don't or oh, a neutral ship, so don't get too excited. Uh, but we have at least spotted something. So fingers crossed. There she is. I think we're on the actual shipping lane now, so that's uh, quite exciting. Don't want to go too close to her because we don't want to um, get any radio messages back. Even though she is neutral, news will spread that there's a submarine in the area, so. Yeah. Don't see her though, so. Uh... Anyway, so I'll go. Watch, uh, watch crew have got far better eyesight than I have, so um, that's a thing. Uh, we just got a message as well. What's this? Um, okay. In accordance with orders from naval war staff, preparations are to be made immediately to send German submarines into the Mediterranean. Six boats are envisaged for a start. They are to operate within the base of St. Salmis against enemy supply lines, especially those in the coast of North Africa. Operational control is to be in the hands of Naval Group Command South BDU. You know, good luck to those poor six boats. We uh, we tried that, didn't end up, didn't go particularly well. I'm stuck on the ladder. There we go. Yeah. So um, there's a ship there somewhere. I don't see it, but it's there. Uh, it's neutral, so we don't have to worry too much about it. But we are now what appears to be on the shipping lane. So. I might zig and zag around here a little bit and uh, see if we can run into some uh, allied shipping, which would be fantastic. So anyway, we're going to press on. Not not much to tell you, but uh, just a slight update, if nothing else. <laughs> nothing else has happened. Um, yeah, but we'll go on and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a little bit of action fairly soon. Uh, I know a lot of people were a bit disappointed with the lack of action in the last video ah there it is you can see the smoke there uh, but please be aware these are almost sub logs so these are patrol logs which I do um, you know I've got about two to three hours recording a week which I can do this uh, if we don't get anything in that time we don't get anything in that time and it's probably a, a fair reflection of how a U-boat's patrol used to go sometimes you have so much action you don't know what to do with it and some sometimes there's nothing at all and that's all part and parcel of a submariner's life. But as um, we leave this neutral ship over there, see her in the distance, uh, we'll plow on and hopefully find something a little bit more juicy. I'll see you in a bit. Hi 
Hi everyone, what a bright and brilliant night we have. Look at that moon, amazing. Um, but the one thing that moon does do, you can see I turned up the gamma, that's why you get this kind of weird effect because a lot of people complain it's been too dark at night. But look, smoke on the horizon. There is a ship. There is a ship. And what's more, it's a British ship. Oh, it's a it's an allied ship anyway which we can uh, attack now it is a lovely cool calm and still night with a lot of um, light from the moon so I think it's going to be a case of DJ shouting us in the face now in about 20 minutes when we're in position to um, attack the ship that gun should actually be crewed by our um, able-bodied men, like they're not here yet, but that's fine, it's going to take them a good while. Um, just done a turn and that's why I think why the, the water is coming over the bow, splashing about like this. Still not there yet, that's fine. Um, so we're going to close in on this ship. Her visibility, um, as you can see, is, is not that good, so we can probably close in nice and close. Let's um, crank up the speed as well. Uh, and we're going to close in on her. And, uh, and take a few pot shots and get us sunk with the deck gun should the crew ever turn up to do the uh, the deck gun yeah they are poor aren't they they are slack old slack billies right so anyway we'll speed on and I'll see you in a few okay here we are with the boys they're finally turned up uh, and as you can see it's a small British vessel doesn't look to have any armament on it at all so that's pretty good let's go and get a quick um, distance to target from DTR as the uh, auto save kicks in. Lovely. DTR, can you give us a. Uh... No, he's just. He turned his back on us. I'm sure that's got to be a, a court martial or something. Um, anyway, maybe it's here. Is this how we do it? Um... Choose get deck gun target. Fire at long range. Oh, I don't know how to do it. There is a there is an option, but I can't find it. I'm not going to spend. I'm not going to sit there clicking through the options. So I can't be bothered. I'll have a look later. Uh, we'll just do a quick um, map check. Then this will be the easiest way. Bit of a cheaty way. It's at three five three and a half kilometers. That's fine. Right, come on, boys. Three and a half kilometers. Bink bink. Swing this gun slowly. Let's get up to three and a half kilometers in. We've got armor piercing in. Let's get some high explosive loaded. Right, and try and lead the shot a li little bit. How did that go? <whistles> Too long. Okay, we'll drop down to 3-2. Well, a touch short, maybe. Go okay, 3-3. Three, three. Obviously, when we fly, if we're on the crest of a wave or if we're in the trough of a wave, it does also, obviously make a bit of a difference well that was um, slightly off the mark but that looked too far as well so we come down to 2,900 meters two and a half thousand meters I don't see a splash on this side of the, the ship so I can only imagine There we go, 3-2 it is. Whoa, good good hit. She's a light. Oh my goodness, took us a couple of rain shots to get in there. We were struggling a little bit, but we're we know roughly the uh the uh the distance now. 3-2. There we go, we can oh, she's she's going bang quite a lot. A couple of hits since already she's had two large explosions on board. More so than you'd expect. Okay, we 
must be closing on her. As I said, you know, it's going to be very few and far between when we get the chance to actually use the deck gun in uh, in earnest these days. So when we get the opportunity, we sure as heck better take it and save our uh, precious torpedoes. So there's going to be a time when we just remove the deck gun altogether because it's going to be pretty much worthless. Um, but seeing as we had to spend 1500 or an hour to actually remove it, uh, there's no point at this stage because, as you say, evidence here is that you do often, not often, on occasion find a lone unarmed ship which um, is perfect for a bit of deck gun practice and uh, as long as we don't have any aircraft entanglements we should be fine just to uh, pummel away, pummel away until she sinks from her damage. Or maybe close it up a little bit. A lot of smoke pouring off her now. Nice. Good stuff. Um. I think we get in the water line because it seems to dip into the water and then you see the uh, the muffled flash from the explosion so I think we're probably about bang on here at 2900 I should imagine obviously with the damage she's sustaining um, yeah, that looked like to be on the side deck didn't it she'll probably be um, absolutely flooring her engines to try and get a you know get a bit of distance but um, We're still gaining, yeah, that's right on the waterline there, that's perfect. Let's keep her in here, I don't want to keep firing when she's gone. I might actually bring it down to 28, 2,800 meters. Give her a shot there. Yeah, perfect, on the waterline by the looks of it. Maybe a bit of few hits to the back to try and take out a propeller or a drive shaft or something like that maybe hit the boiler just to try and slow her down and disable her in the water and then obviously that'll encourage the guys to stop fighting the fires stop fighting the uh, rising waters and just abandon ship and we'll have our prize oh hopefully our first prize after an episode of nothing last time Let's close it the range a little bit. She definitely seems to be slowing down. Boom, a couple more hits and hopefully that'll be her done. Come on, keep reloading boys. Can have about 48 shells left on the high explosives. I tell you one thing, this ship has taken a lot of punishment. She's taken a lot of punishment. She's got a lot of holes on her on her deck, on her superstructure, but she's still going. The little ship that would not give up. 
It's not a great story, or a great title to a story, I grant you, but it's true. Let's just try and um, get a bit more of the uh, front of the ship. Maybe in the midsection when the boiler room, because uh, we just need to slow her down. She's actually flying away. Is that a secondary fire starting up a little bit brighter, maybe? Is she turning? Have we hit the rudder? Is she uh, now stuck in a, a slow, lazy turn to port? Maybe. So third fire's just started. There she goes. She's gone. Finally, uh, 40 shells left over. Well, that was a good guess, wasn't it, when I said 40 shells? Sweet. Right, let's get that out of the way. Let's get the old deck gun secured away. Let's la allow DTA to shout in our face and cover us with all the yes, spittle that he can muster. Secure the deck gun! Well done. And that is a burning little ship. You can see the little um, lifeboat behind it. That ship is still sailing around on it. Uh, along on its momentum quite keenly. Um, what do we have here? It was a small passenger type merchant for 2,012 tons. It's a start. It's a start. I know it's not great, but it's a start. And we've had our first kill of the patrol, which is um, it's always a bit of a worry when you haven't had that first kill. But we're going to... Uh, actually, we're not going to hold around here. I'm going to head south. I'm going to patrol down here for a little bit. Uh, because obviously the sinking of the ship will, in, without doubt, attract um, uh, military vessels and aircraft in a search. So uh, yeah, we're going to give this place a little bit of a, a wide berth. Actually, what I might do is head back, um, head south, and then Flooding then come cars. up again Flooding and come along cars. that Flooding kind cars. of uh, route where ships are sort of been doing a straight line through the uh, Gibraltar Gap. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, in the meantime, we're going to continue on, try and find another juicy target, and let that one burn and eventually sink beneath the waves. Um, I'm just going to get below deck, just in case uh, an aircraft should come and we have to do a quick uh, dive. Uh, but for now, we're going to move on, and I'll see you in a few.
Hi everyone, welcome back. After numerous attacks from the air, we, we have uh, come into a friendly port. Look at this. Fantastic. So I was, I was just um, been stalking around uh, the Gibraltar mouth, as you hear, there's Gibraltar, as you can see. Uh, this is where we sunk the ship. I've been up here, I've been around here, down here, around here, came up here. Did a few search patterns around here, came down here, came down here, and then we've now managed to come around here. Um, no ships we've found, well, I've, that's a lie. I found some neutral ships, I've found two friendly ships. Didn't bother bringing them to you. Uh, one of the neutral ships was, as we, there's where you go, you can see it, coming into this port now. It's a German port, I didn't really even realise that was here. Um, so this port here, MV Thalia, is a... Uh, a German port or an allied port and look in the top corner we get the opportunity to dock which is fantastic because you see our fuel is down to 44% um, which is not terrible but we can refuel and we arm right here so that is fantastic news that is a real bonus I didn't know we were, we had so um, we can really go to town um, as much as we like in this area knowing we can uh, rearm and refuel here uh, obviously we can't repair which is uh, a bit of a, a, a thing because um, we still have damage I think but after the numerous um, strafes by enemy fighters and enemy bombers uh, we still have a little bit of damage which is being uh, worked on as we speak that's all being repaired that is um, our regulation tank 2 port and starboard is being worked on that's all good and what do we have here our stern buoyancy tank is being worked on as well uh, so we'll have to leave it there for this episode thanks ever so much for watching sorry it's still not the action that we want but uh, it's getting a little bit better uh, numerous aircraft attacks and um, at least we hit a ship this time and sunk it but hopefully next time we can find a little bit more in the way of allied shipping and we can get a bit more torpedo action, a bit more deck gun action and a lot more sinking action on the way. So thanks for watching. Sorry again. Uh, and I'll see you next time.